guys, what's up? So, I am in my bedroom again and we're filming. Sorry if the air conditioner is really loud. And if you're wondering why my face looks like this, it's because I'm doing my makeup. So, welcome back. I don't really know what this video is going to be about yet, but we're, we're going with the flow. I want to show you guys some new makeup products that I bought. I bought them from this store called Look. Look at me, PH. I'm not really sure. I forgot, but I'm sure it's Look. They're located in SM Aura, but I bought the products online. They have an application and a website. So if you guys want to check that out, just Google Look PH. You can find them easily. They're basically like the Sephora in the Philippines. They have a lot of makeup products from abroad and a lot of skincare products as well. So I bought makeup because I'm running out of product. I'm not really the type of person to buy makeup when I still have makeup. So for example, um, should I even explain myself? I'm out of mascara. So that's the only time I'm gonna buy another mascara when I'm out of mascara. And I'm out of a lot of things so I decided to buy some new ones. Also, this is not going to be just your ordinary makeup video because I tried to vlog okay but I didn't really end up actually making a solid video so I'm just here to connect the dots for you all before we get into those beautiful wonderful clips I'm gonna show you the first product that I bought so the first product that I bought is this one so it's a concealer oh my god what the fuck oh shit so it's a concealer. I don't know how the fuck. It's a concealer. I said it's a concealer literally three times. So it's from the brand The Same. S A E M. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I got the idea of buying this because of Tony Sia. I'm into shade. I think this is sand. I picked sand. I actually just guessed my shade, but totally matches <gasps> okay so throughout the weeks I basically just worked because I have a job because she adult thing throughout those weeks while I was working my boyfriend kept buying me matcha from Starbucks I'm trying to lessen my caffeine intake and they said matcha has less caffeine but could still wake you up oh my god look at that concealer it's so glowy it's it doesn't look matte it's literally glowy it makes you shine like a good shine mm. look at that it looks like i have a highlight but i don't it's just concealer we're gonna move on i also baked a lot during those weeks like at random days i would just think of something to bake and then i decide to bake it bake it on the same day i baked creme brulee one of those days the next day after chilling it for about 24 hours wow she a bakeress i glazed it with some sugar or whatever if you know creme brulee it's a dessert basically like an egg pudding texture thing and then it has burnt sugar on top that doesn't sound appetizing but it's actually good if you cook it nicely but i wasn't able to cook it nicely i actually failed it was too runny for my liking Cousins and I played a bunch of random games like Overcooked. What do I do? I got the shrimp in and I'm done. I'm a fast fish cutter. Oh, you did nothing. <laughs> Our precious gameplay. No! <laughs> Why is there a stranger in our kitchen? I'm walking. Whoa! <laughs> I'm trying to get that stupid rice! <laughs> you know who's blaming it? <laughs> what the hell? Putting rice? That's not cooked! <laughs> Put it down, Grandma! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Rant. Stressing you. Stressing you. Unrated again? Do you want a deck map? 
On the Discord? Some charades. And then some water spill challenge that we saw on TikTok. And guess who lost? Me, bitch. Fuck. Hey! Hey, hey, you absolute. Lanen. Joy. Lilia Tan. No. Oh my god. Oh my hard work. <laughs> what are you doing? Fuck me. Gulu ni gumi na kaka ini. And then the most chaotic thing happened. I got sick. So the past few weeks were very, very chaotic for our family because I got sick. I got dengue. I was just working at night and then all of a sudden I felt chills, as in severe chills. I was shaking so much because I felt so cold. And then my temperature suddenly went up. I was at 39.7. Celsius. My parents were panicking, so they decided to rush me to the hospital, get me checked. It's so hard to get sick in this pandemic because everyone assumes you have COVID whenever you have a fever. But honestly, the possibilities of me getting COVID is... It's possible. So I took a bunch of tests, they tested my blood, they got x-rays, they tested my pee, my poop. The next day, we got the results. Luckily, I was negative for COVID, but... They were able to detect a viral infection and we had to take a bunch more tests again. Then the next day, we got the results and it said I had dengue! <laughs> so they rushed me to a hospital to get me confined but honestly, it wasn't that easy. We literally called about 20 hospitals before we were able to find a room. Guys, it's so hard to get sick nowadays, so as much as possible, drink your vitamins, drink water, exercise, eat healthy, cause fuck. It's hard to get sick nowadays, okay? So there's that. I was confined for about 7 to 8 days. Every day, they would take blood from me, which was the worst thing ever because I have a fear of blood, okay? I'm scared of fucking blood. I actually even cried one time because they couldn't get any blood from my veins so they had to keep <laughs> they have to keep poking me with a needle anyway the next product i got from look is this one so this is the voluminous slash paradise from l'oreal i've always wanted to try this i heard good and bad reviews about it but since i'm super duper curious about it i want to try it myself and i think it's okay so far so good then i bought two other things the Benetint from Benefit because I know this is like high-end already. It's pretty fucking expensive, not gonna lie. For this size, for this size, it is expensive. I actually had a lot more of this product, but my sister decided to take my Benetint with her without my permission. She brought it outside while she was biking and guess what the fuck happened? She dropped it, she spilled it, and it's gone. So I had to buy another one, and this time, she is not allowed to use it. And the next thing I bought is this blush. Ooh, why is there something on my elbow? I can't get it off. Oh, it's my skin! She be shedding. The next thing I bought is this blush from BLK. So it's their face stack multi-pot, and mine is in the shade Wanderlust. The sticker is not pantai. There's space and it's bothering me because I'm fucking OC. Do you see it? Oh my god. But anyway, it's cute. It has a mirror. It has some scratches. But it's fine. I won't even use that. This is the shade. Back to the story though. Back to the story. So, as I was saying, I stayed there for about 7 to 8 days. And then, the doctor who was handling me finally allowed us to what do you call it to get discharged but they'll never take all freedom so i went home rested for the rest of the day and then the next day i decided to bake huh? 
I decided to bake some apple pie because I was craving for something sweet. Okay, look at this bite. Look at this bite. Then back to normal functioning, I went back to work. But honestly, I'm still, even up to now, like right now, as I'm filming this, I still easily get tired. I get dizzy really easily. I think it's because the infection is still inside me or whatever. That's what Google said. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, I actually missed a part. During that time, when I was in the hospital and when I had dengue, my cousins and my sister at home all had fevers as well. They had fevers and rashes and everyone was panicking. I don't know what the fuck was happening, but we got tested. They all got tested for dengue, for COVID, and everyone was negative. I don't know what the fuck happened, but everyone suddenly got sick. Maybe it's flu season. So the next thing I bought from Look is this gloss, this lip gloss from Colourpop. So it's called Lux Gloss and I bought the shade Blissful. I don't have a lip gloss, so this is my first ever lip gloss. This is what it looks like. This is what the product looks like. It smells like... Oops. It smells like candy. I don't know what to feel. This is my first ever lip gloss, so... The gloss is there. You can see my red lip, though. It's not that sticky. After that, my aunt delivered some food to her house. We got some pizza and we got some donuts. I loved the donuts. I haven't had Jayco in such a long time. So, okay, the last thing I bought is this one. It's from L'Oreal again and it's their Revitalif Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic, correct me if I'm wrong. It's supposed to give you that glowy type of skin because it gives your skin more moisture. But make sure to take a moisturizer right after this or you can mix it in your moisturizer. I don't know. I'm not a dermatologist. You shouldn't really trust me. But so far, I've been using it the past few nights and I'm not really breaking out. So that's a good sign. Glowy skin. I guess. I guess it's becoming glowier. Who knows? Who knows? And then for the last day, which is today, we've reached that point. We celebrated my Lola's birthday. <laughs> she was happy. We were all happy. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna end off the video here. I don't know what this video is. Is it a makeup haul? Is it a vlog? Is it a sit down video? Who the fuck knows? But I just post whatever I want to. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like. I hope you comment. You know, get me that YouTube algo. Stay safe. It's really hard to get sick nowadays. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!